Good day! This is Teacher Rowan. I'll be your guide in exploring Google Apps for Education, for teaching and learning. In Google for Education, teachers can connect and collaborate easily while staying on task. It gives teachers the freedom to spend more time personalizing the learning experience and less time managing it. Students can learn essential skills such as 21st century problem solving, which they can use it in their future careers. As such, the accessibility features will also help and assist every learner to do their best work. Google offers different useful applications that we can use to connect education to technology. This will help our teachers as a 21st century educators to innovate and find ways on how to make teaching and learning more exciting, engaging, effective, and flexible to the demands of the society. Let's re-explore the education experience by discovering new angles to create collaborate, and communicate as one. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Ang pagkatuto, huwag gawing komplikado. Sulong edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulad. A free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the e is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! All right. So great afternoon po sa inyong lahat. So it's a great Monday afternoon indeed. Uh, good afternoon sa ating mga viewers. Although all over the Philippines, Metro Manila, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Kamusta po kayo? I hope you're all doing fine. And welcome to our first uh, Itulay online tutorial session for Senior High School Earth and Life Science course the school year 2021 and 2022. So my name is, once again, I am Shooter Tony from Novaliches High School, SDO, Quezon City. At dahil, hashtag itulay level up na tayo this school year, tandaan ang ating hashtag ha, hashtag itulay level up, meron tayong isang volunteer tutor na makakasama as we go on or study the different concepts about earth and life science. So I'm sure you are all excited to meet her. Ayun, may clue, babae. Uh, let's all welcome on our show. Uh, we have Shooter Jules. Hello, Shooter Jules. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, Paul. Ayan. So, we have Shooter Jules. So, kung dati si Shooter Tommy lang kasama niya sa pag-aaral ng Earth and Life Science and all the other concepts about science. So, meron tayong mga kasama. May katandem na tayo. Ang, ta ang tambalang TJ, Tony, and Jules. Gusto mo yan, ma'am? <laughs> yes, sir. TJ, Thunder Juicy. <laughs> Kamusta po ma'am ang opening ng classes kanina sa school po ninyo? Ayun, marami po orientation po sa mga bata kanina pra, uh, yes. sa aking grade 11 ABM. Medyo mahababang discussion kasi may kasunduan, organization mm. of the classroom. Ayan, nag-group na rin po kami. And then All the, right. ano. Sang school kayo ma'am galing? Para i-shoutout uh, na natin school ninyo. <laughs> I'm from Kibiga High School, SDO, Caloocan City po. Ayan. So, si ma'am ay galing sa SDO Caloacan City. So, magkapit-bahay lang kami. Konting tumbling lang na sa SDO Quezon City na si ma'am. <laughs> Alright. So, I think we are now ready to share our PowerPoint presentation, ma'am. Yes, sir. Our right, director, pasuyo po. Ayan. So, habang hinihintay natin ang ating PowerPoint, let's just say good afternoon sa ating mga early viewers. Nakatutok na sila Beverly, uh, Beverly Beatriz Okwaman. Good afternoon sa'yo na. We also have Grace Valdez Parado, 
Good afternoon also watching from Tagsing Elementary School. Wow, may elementary ano tayo teacher ba si Ma'am? Ayan, si Ma'am Rosemary Candado. Ayan. So make sure po na na i-like at i-share ang ating live stream para mas marami pa po tayong maabot sa mga learners and teachers as well as science enthusiasts. We also have Ma'am Honey. Good, uh, good day. Good afternoon po sa inyo. And Ma'am Maricar Malyari Raha. Good afternoon po. So you are tuned in to Senior High School Earth and Life Science with Shooter Tony and Shooter Jewel. Okay, ma'am, Hello, sir. Okay, ma'am, ma'am, sa next po. Ayan. So, ano pong pag-uusapan natin today, ma'am, Jules? For the week one, the earth and life, the earth, the subsystems, and the rock farming minerals po. The Ayan. quarter one, week one topic. Okay. Mga buena man ng topic natin ma'am no sobrang ganda na ng discussion. So we'll be talking about the earth and we would recall the different subsystems and of course on the last portion we'll be discussing about the different uh, different rock forming minerals. So once again, we are Shooter Tony and Shooter Jules. Sige ma'am, next na po natin. Tandaan na, ang tambalang Tony and Jules, Mondays, 4 o'clock to 4.40 p.m. So we are live uh, via the DepEdetic Unit Facebook page and the official YouTube channel of DepEdetic Unit. Ayan. So pwedeng i-like at i-share at mamaya mag-comment tayo sa mga different activities and questions na na-repair na namin para sa inyo. Alright. So let's have an overview. Ano ba yung ina-expect kaya natin na aralin natin sa uh, subject na ito, ma'am? Ayan. So we have Earth and Life Science. FYI, no? So Earth and Life Science is a core subject in senior high school. So ibig sabihin ng core subject, every track or kahit anong ano mo, uh, particular uh, strand or course mo for senior high school, you're going to take up this particular subject. So it will focus mainly on the study or the understanding of Earth Science and Biology. Next one. Uh, okay, so under Earth Science, uh, we are going to travel on the past. Ayan. So because we'll be presenting the history of the Earth, ayan, babalikan natin yung mga nangyari during the different eras, di ba? Through, the, through the use of the geologic time. What's next, ma'am? And of course, you are going to review and uh, we will further deepen your understanding about the Earth structure, ayan, composition and processes, di ba? Uh, fresh na fresh yan mula sa grade 10 science niyo, di ba? The cross, the mantle, and the core. What else, ma'am? We also have, of course, the Philippines. Our country is located in the Pacific Ring of Fire at saka nasa typhoon belt tayo. Kaya we are very prone sa mga natural hazards. So we are going to study that further on this course. And of course, uh, um, tuturuan din namin kayo ng mga different tips on how to be prepared sa mga ganyang uh, klase ng natural hazards. For biology naman, ma'am, we are going to, ayan, so for biology, we're going to discuss the different basic principles and processes in the study of biology. What else, ma'am? Okay, so ayan, recall natin yung mga different life processes and interactions on different levels, cellular, organismal, population, and ecosystem levels. So at the uh, last part ng earth science natin, no? so it will be it will be revolving around uh, ecology, the study of the ecosystems, ayan, so environment. Next po. Ayan. Wait, so I think... um, can you hear me, sir? Yes, ma'am. Audible but po. Ako, um, from the private chat, mute sa hangin po sa nostrils po. Apo. Relax lang kayo, ma'am. Ah, okay. Apo, medyo so, na relinig po yung ano po, breathing. <laughs> Inhale, okay. exhale. Ayan. So medyo ano lang si ma'am. Uh, unang sala nga si ma'am, pero she'll be doing good na kapag nag-discuss na si ma'am. Okay. So I think the our learners, ma'am, ay ano na excited ng matuto. Ano ba yung mga requirements natin for our subject, ma'am? Are they now ready? Ma 
Ayan, so habang hinihintay natin si Shooter Jules, mabilis ang shoutout lang, no? So, ang dami ng mga nagko-comment, mga active participants. So, sana uh, later on sa mga activities, ha, mag-participate din po kayo. So, we have teachers, I think, and mga students, Ma'am Jules, no? So, we have Ma'am Gloria Solatario watching from, what's this? ABK ASA NHS Bacolod City Division. Wow, for all the way from Bacolod. Good afternoon po sa inyo. Ayan, uh, Ma'am Jenna Orteza, yes, all of our PowerPoint presentations will be uh, available sa DepEd Commons po. Ayan. Saying also good afternoon to Ma'am Amy Wells. Good afternoon watching from District of Carmona. Ayan, Ma'am Jules, I think you're ready na po. Yes po. Um, okay. I hope you are now in a place that, or a part of your home that is free from disruption and with strong internet connection. Prepare your ball pen and notebook for taking down notes and of course yourself. So for the objectives for this day, uh, based from Mel, recognize the uniqueness of Earth being the only planet in the solar system with properties necessary to support life. Explain that the Earth consists of four subsystems across whose boundaries matter and energy flow. Identify common rock-forming minerals using their physical and chemical properties. Ayan. So those are our three myths. So medyo jump pack tayo this week, ma'am, no? So let yes. we better start. Ayan, let's have a review first. What have you so, prepared for us, ma'am? Identify the planets in the solar system. Ayan. Uh, let's grade, have a recall. Grade 7, ano? Uh, grade 7. Yeah. Yeah. So let's start from the... the nearest to the farthest. So if you want to answer in advance, just type 1 for the closest and... Uh, eight for the fardel. So one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So let's start yeah. with this. Number one, those who want to participate, number one. So what planet what is that? Is that is of course yes, the nearest nearest to the sun. To the sun that is Mercury. All right. So we have Mercury followed by the hottest planet, Mam Julie, Mam Jules, diba? yes, So we have Venus. Ayana. Okay, we have Venus. And of course, our beloved planet, we okay. have the flat Earth. Earth. After Earth, we have the red planet. We have planet. Red planet. We have Mars. Ayan. So after ng Mars, meron siya asteroid belt uh, dividing the terrestrial and the Jovian planets, ma'am, di ba? So what's the biggest planet? May mga sumasagot na from our comment section. Ayan, Josephine Medina, you're correct. Ayan, very active. Earth, Mars, sige, tuloy-tuloy na natin. Let's go. Okay, and that is Jupiter. Ayan, of course, meron Jupiter. Okay, mm -hmm. and then next... Followed by the most beautiful planet in terms of the appearance because of its rings, ma'am, diba? So we have yes. planet? That is planet Saturn. Saturn? All right. And of course, palamig na ng palamig as you go farther from the sun. What is the next planet? Tabayan natin si Josephine Medina while answering. And she said, yes. that's Uranus. Okay, you're correct. Alea Chavez is also correct. Jupiter? And finally, ayan, considered as a major planet, of course, we have planet Neptune. All right. So I think we're now ano, ready. No? So we have already identified these planets. And these planets are divided into two no? in terms of the regions or their locations, ma'am. Okay. The inner planets, uh, the Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Uh, they are known as terrestrial planets. Okay, the terrestrial the planet. Outer, the outer, the Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus, Neptune, they are known as Jovian planets. Ayan. Oh, ma'am, meron ka dito ano ata, student. We have um, uh, Catherine Balayan, or maybe she's a teacher then. Go, ma'am, Julie Dow. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yes. My student. My Pero student, teacher Catherine. Na uh, teacher na po yan ngayon. Teacher wow. Na yan. Maybe, ano, na inspired because of your teaching. Yes. Ayan. Uh, so when we say terrestrial planets, Ma'am Jules, no? When we say okay, terrestrial rock, planets, yeah. they, they are made up of what? Rock. 
rocky uh, like earth uh, rocky planets they are the rocky planets when we say jovian planets these are the planets that are uh, the gas the gaseous planet the gas, or the, the gas giant planet yes i think we're now okay. ready to for the objective number one about the uniqueness of planet earth okay the living so bakit kaya uh, Ma'am Jules, no? So maybe, maybe we can ask our senior high school learners, bakit among the planets mentioned in our solar system, bakit sa Earth lang meron nag-e-exist na, na life? Or maybe some some others, other scientists or space scientists are thinking or they are uh, proposing that other life forms exist. But particularly in our solar system, bakit sa Earth lang kaya may buhay? So bakit, ano mga different factors that, uh, that, that, that makes our planet habitable. Okay, before we answer that, uh, let's have this description of our, the definition of Earth. Okay? The Earth is considered as a home of simple single cell organism that is known as unicellular, unicellular up to the most complex multicellular life forms, including the humans. It is undeniable that the planet we live in is a rare planet, as it is the only planet in our solar system that permits life. Yes. And those planets, um, the name of the planets derived from lahat sila, all the planets, galing yun sa ano, no? the Their name after, after the Roman gods and goddesses. Yes. Except this, the Earth. Yes, po. and it is derived from the Anglo-Saxon word "erda," which means ground or soil. Ayan. So that's one of our first trivia today, no? So, ang planet Earth lang ang hindi pinangalan sa isang Roman god or goddess. So, nanggaling siya sa Anglo-Saxon word na "erda," which means ground or soil. Ayan. So, dumadami pa rin natin mga viewers, ma'am. So, they are very excited to learn about our planet today, including Alea Chavez. Ayan, very active. Uh, Ricardo Perez saying good afternoon with, to us. Uh, and yan, ayan. And Rumel Resurrection. Ayan. So what are the so, factors, ma'am, that make the planet habitable? Okay, so we have here number one, temperature. One factor. Okay. Temperature. Very first factor is temperature. Yes. Uh, it is not too cold, it, not, it is not too hot. Life seems to be limited to a temperature range of negative 15 degrees Celsius to 115 degrees Celsius. All the processes, life processes will undergo with that temperature. Higher okay. than that, higher than that, the life, the other processes or the other materials that needs for the living organism, uh, normally it will uh, no, disintegrate or break apart. Okay. This will make their cells ano po, destroyed, no, mamamatay yung mga cells po nila. So, tandaan, no, negative, it's between negative 15 degrees Celsius to 115 degrees Celsius. Kasi may mga organisms tayo, like mga microorganisms na nabubuhay up to, ayan, mga temperature ranges na umaabot ng more than 100 degrees kasi medyo mainit na yan for us humans. But other living organisms can still sustain despite that very high temperature. What's the next factor, ma'am, after temperature? So we yeah. have the atmosphere. The atmosphere, ang ating pinaka blanket of air na, na nagsung nagsu surround sa ating planeta. Ayan. So why why is atmosphere a factor, Ma'am Jules? Earth, Venus, uh, let us consider, well, let us compare it to the other planet. Earth and yeah. Venus are the uh, right size to hold a sufficient atmosphere. The Earth atmosphere is about 100 miles thick, okay, that can protect the Earth. Yes, it serves as a protection. Kasi actually yung uh, ibang planets like uh, the Mercury, parang halos wala na siyang atmosphere. Si Venus naman, yes, kasing size niya si Earth, pero ang atmosphere niya very toxic naman kasi nagtatrap siya ng init. That's why it's called the hottest planet. Unlike sa Earth, medyo nababalanse pa no? na, na because of our atmosphere, some of the heat is being radiated pabalik ng outer space and enough heat lang ang nakakapasok or radiation, enough radiation lang yung nakakapasok sa ating uh, planet mismo. So that's uh, the first two factors. No? We have temperature and atmosphere. What's the next factor, Ma'am Jules? The energy. Ayan, kailangan na kailangan natin yan. Energy, come on, Ma'am Jules. 
Hang on. Um, Alright, so... wrong with the phone po. Okay. Don't worry na ma'am sa phone. Ako na pong bahala sa mga nag-response po sa atin. Focus na kayo ma'am sa ano po? Sa discussion, sa discussion. po. Apo. Ako na pong bahala ma'am. Kasi medyo, yun nga, very active ang ating mga participants. So, they are very excited na marinig po ang inyong mga kasabihin about the, the different factors. And the third one is energy. Okay, the energy. With the steady input of either light or chemical energy, cells can yes. run the chemical reactions necessary for life. The planet Earth is habitable because it has the right distance from the sun. Nakikita nyo naman yung picture dyan. Right mm-hmm. distance from the sun has, has suitable weather and climate that can provide water, oxygen, and other useful products of humans. Okay. Tama po yan, no? So, the light energy is being utilized, being converted into chemical energy by different forms, especially ang ating mga plants. Ayan, so kaway-kaway sa ating mga plantito and plantitas right there. Ayan, kailangan na kailangan ng energy. Do we still have another factor, ma'am? So aside from temperature, atmosphere, so and... Next, we have the nutrients. Ayan. Those with water cycle of volcanic activity can transport and replenish the chemicals required by living organism. So, um, all this... That na yung ito, the factor, this factor, uh, make the planet habitable. So All right. So, process ang mga different cycle like, uh, by the way, biological, bio, biological cycle refers to biological, geological, and chemical cycle. That refers to the following cycle, the carbon, phosphorus, nitrogen, water cycle, and oxygen cycle. Ayan. All of those cycles are equally important sa nature, ma'am, di ba? Kasi we cannot take for granted kung isang, isang cycle man dyan ay mawala. So let's recall lang, no? So the different factors that make the planet habitable are the following. So we started with temperature. So we have enough uh, temperature. Hindi, siya so, hindi naman sobrang lamig, hindi rin sobrang init. We also have the atmosphere. We also have, of course, the presence of water and, of course, the last, parang physical na katawan lang natin, Ma'am Jules, no? We have to have, the earth ha- has to have the important or the needed nutrients. All right, next book. Okay, okay. so why is the earth habitable? Run through lang natin, so, Ma'am. I run through natin. Po, it is based from the discussion a while ago. It has the right distance from the sun. And it is protected from harmful solar radiation by its magnetic field. Medyo yes. hindi natin nabigyan ito kanina ng emphasize, ano? The mm-hmm. magnetic field. So what is all about this? The magnetic field. The Earth's magnetic field is also known as geomagnetic field. It is a magnetic field that extends from the Earth's interior out into the space where it interacts with the solar wind. A stream of charged particles emanating from the sun. The magnetic Mm. field is generated by electric currents due to motion of convection currents of a mixture of molten iron and nickel in the Earth's outer core. Okay. So So it serves also as a protection from the... Uh, destructive or medyo negative kasi yung effect ng solar wind, yung mga solar prominences or any uh, ini-eject ng uh, the sun kasi very, ano yan eh, very highly energized ang ating sun as the center of our solar system. Next, ma'am. So, right distance, we, we have additional protection. So, another one. here, we have number three. Uh, we discussed it already a while ago. It is kept warm by insulating atmosphere. And okay. Atmosphere. So, pangalawang protection na yan, no? So, we also have the atmosphere as our protection. And then finally, recall lang natin, ma'am. What's the, what's the next? Okay. Here. The nutrients, this uh, yeah. deals with the nutrients. It has the right amount of ingredients for life, including the water and carbon. Ayan. Very important na mga elements at saka compounds, carbon and water. Para mag-exist ang buhay sa ating nag-iisang planeta ng Earth. What else do we have, ma'am? Okay, Ayan. so what are the unique characteristics of Earth that allows the existence of life? So the, okay. the presence of liquid water, another, planet's ability to maintain heat, and the existence of life-supporting atmosphere. So that okay. is the generalization based from the discussion. Okay, so that is so WHA. 
Yes, sir. Water. So, uh, para madali matandaan ng mga learners natin. Water, heat, and atmosphere. And atmosphere. Ayun. <laughs> Let's proceed with our next, ma'am. So we are now on objective number two, no? So kanina sa present ni ma'am na most essential learning competencies. So we are now to, about to discuss the different subsystems. So actually, na-mention na to sa mga lower sciences ninyo, no? During your junior high school. So i-dependent lang natin yung understanding nyo today. So what are the earth subsystems? Let's ask. Sige pa, kalampagin okay, natin so ang, ang comment this. section later on. Okay, so let's have this. na yata, meron na yata silang comment. So, Earth Science look at the entire planet as a system of interacting parts called system. So, yes. planet Earth, uh, it is complex system and it is consists of the interaction of the different subsystems. So, okay. let us identify the subsystem of the planet. For the advanced student, they can identify based from the given picture, right? Yes, okay, so, so we have the planet Earth. Earth at the center. So the first picture, ma'am. Sige, bigay natin yung first para meron silang clue. So first, um, based from the picture, that may is? trees, tapos may, ano, may grass, and that is biosphere. The biosphere. So, so for the second, or letter B, the body of water, so, the flowing water. So Water, right? too big. Hmm. That is your? You can answer, ha? Pwedeng humabol lang sagot later on ng ating mga viewers. By the way, by, uh, from, ano, from letter A, biosphere, bio means life. Again, so letter All right, A yes. Was, bio refers to... And here, and here in letter B, um, the keyboard or the... Ayan. From the picture by the water or a flowing... Body of water. So that is, meron po bang sagot, sir? Yes, so ma'am Beverly Okuaman is correct. She said hydrosphere on the comment section. Good job, ma'am. Okay, hydrosphere. And hydrosphere. C, that is a picture of volcanic eruption, right? All right. For letter C. So, my element now. What is that? Let us show the answer, ma'am, now. Geosphere. Yeah, Geosphere. so of course we have the geosphere. And finally, kanina na mention na rin natin sa ating ano, mga factors, di ba? Yes, po. That is, ayan, it is in the air. Or in the ayan. space. Okay, Marami nang sumasagot. Atmosphere. So we have atmosphere. So, so let's have let's, the, uh, the, uh, the specific description for subsystem. So, one, atmosphere, composed of nitrogen, which is 78%, and oxygen, 21%, 1% uh, from the other gases. Those other gases, argon, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, ozone, and other inert gases. Then, atmosphere supports life. It regulates the climate and access mm -hmm. both a blanket and a filter. Okay? Yeah. We described it already. In the Sana all my blanket <laughs> na magpapainit ng ating katawan kapag tayo ay nilalamig. So that is the atmosphere, the very important role of the atmosphere on our planet. The second one, of course, as, as seen on our presentation is the biosphere. So as mentioned, bio refers to the living organisms, the animals, the plants, the humans, and even microorganisms are part of our biosphere. Okay, biosphere is known as the zone of Earth where all forms of life exist, sometimes called yes. as the large ecosystem. But in okay, ecosystem, it is consists of, I know, it is consists of biotic and abiotic. In biosphere, uh, it is with only with biotic. Okay, okay. the living organism like this. Uh, and naman po yung mga examples. Then next, we have... Geosphere. Okay, the so from the word is, geo, geo means earth. which means earth. This the the geosphere is the solid earth consisting of the entire planet from the center of the core to the outermost portion of our crust. Of course, yung mga nakikita natin na mga landforms and all other land masses 
na present sa ating planeta. Next, ma'am. So we're done with atmosphere, with geosphere. What's next po? Okay. The next, the subsystem of the Earth, the fourth yeah, no. is the atmosphere. The water part of the Earth <laughs> includes the oceans and glaciers. Okay. So, so that is our does, hydrosphere. Okay po. So how does matter and energy flow across the four subsystem of the Earth? So look at the interaction. What is the flow of the energy? In the atmosphere, here, ayan po, the atmosphere provides the geosphere with heat and energy needed for rock breakdown and erosion. And then in biosphere, the biosphere receives gases, heat, and sunlight energy from the atmosphere. It receives water from the hydrosphere, ayan, and then sa baba, and a living medium from the geosphere. Okay, All right. So that is... So, sa madaling salita, ma'am, this, uh, uh, this subsystems interact para at least ma-maintain yung uh, pag-sustain ng ating planeta ng, uh, ng life para mag-exist ang life. So, we have atmosphere can uh, interact with geosphere, biosphere interacts with hydrosphere, hydrosphere can also interact with the atmosphere, and so on and so forth. And as uh, evident ito sa mga different cycles na na-mention ni Tutor Jules kanina, no? Alright, so this uh, diagram shows how matter and energy flows, of course, across the four subsystems of the Earth. Yung energy na nanggagaling sa ating main source, which is the sun, is being converted into different forms and being utilized by different uh, living organisms as well as the non uh, non-living factors na nasa, ano natin, nasa environment. So, very important ang interactions na ito. Alright? Okay, proceed, so proceed to objective number three, the rock form of minerals. Sige, tamang-tama sa ating What are ano minerals? Po? These are, are building blocks of rock. They're called the building blocks of rocks. Mineralogists use a set of criteria to determine whether the material is classified as mineral or not. So let us identify, based from the jumble word, you are going to identify the characteristic of minerals. So let's Ayan. have this. It is a product so, of Earth's natural processes. So what's the word? The key word there is natural. Anyone? So the, Ayan, don't forget to ano no to type. Siguro ma mahabol sila later on sa ating comment. So they're trying to figure it out. So ayan, may mga sumagot kanina sa atin. So thank you for answering. You are all collect, correct. Brian Cruz, Lilian Panario Pawon, Alea Chavez is very uh, active to, uh, this afternoon. Thank you na. We have Bensi Josh G Wong. Ayan, Lilian Panario Pawon again. Sirikit Pagaduan watching from S I think this one is from Sultan Kudarat Division sa Mindanao. Wow, po, good afternoon. Yes. Ano ma'am, very supportive ang ating mga ano, uh, viewers at mga teachers all over the the Philippines. Uh, we also have Ma'am Mary Rose Esquilona. What is the answer ma'am for our first word? Okay, for the first word, one characteristic uh, is naturally occurring. Para so, masabing uh, mineral is... yung nag-exist, it should be naturally occurring okay. sa ating planet. All right, next tayo, ma'am. So next, it must be product of Earth's physical processes. Okay, so ano kaya? May mga clues so, si ma'am, oh, ma'am Jules, dyan ayan, sa left side ng screen ninyo. We have here salt, which is known as the sodium chloride, a diamond, water, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and calcium carbonate. So mm -hmm. what do you call this product? Meron po ba, sir? So those are so known far, as... Ano po? Please show the answer, ma'am. Inorganic. Or, okay. Nice try, Beverly. She said kasi organic. So pag sinabi natin in, inorganic, uh, hindi siya galing sa ano, no? Sa pag so organic living, kasi, organism. living organisms. Pag inorganic, it pertains to non-living. So it must be a product of the Earth's physical processes like erosion, ganyan, weathering. Yan. I think meron tayong third word, ma'am. Yeah, nice try then, Jeanette Balubar. She okay. said organic. Actually, we have five. So, number three, have a definite shape and volume. Ayan, so, ayan. Sa chemistry natin before. Yes, what do you call? So, the 
first first word refers to it's uh possess a fixed shape and a fixed letter volume. H ma'am, 'di ba? Tama ba ako? Letter H ang simula uh, niyan. Second letter, second word pala yung ano description for this ano. Yes, or oh, second word. So, okay. so we have definite shape and volume. What could be the answer, ma'am? Definite shape and volume. Show na po natin. Okay, we called it homogeneous solid. When we say homogeneous, right. uh, they have the same characteristic in uniform. Mm -hmm. Homogeneous solid. All right, so we have homogeneous solid. We still have, meron pa po ba tayo, ma'am? Ayan, so the fourth okay. one, as you can see, Ayan. So we have here a crystal. Ayan, bigyan tayo ng clue. Crystal. Nandun na. Atoms are arranged in order of increasing pattern. O, oh, ayan po. Ayan. So, ayan, may mga umahabol lang sagot. Oo. Uh -oh. Sige, ma'am. What could be okay. the word? So we have the crystalline structure. May mga humabol. Makating mga students to na very active, no? Excited na talaga sa pasukan. We have, ayan, they say, tama si Benzi Joss G. Wong. Again, Sh Barota Shalene. Ayan, si Ma'am Lorna Molina Jeronimo, lagi nanonood yan sa atin sa mga activities natin sa EdTech. Hello, Ma'am. Like Alamigo said, homogeneous solid. You're correct. Ricardo Perez. And Alaya Chavez also correct. Our last word for this segment. is represented by the chemical formula. So like the chemical formula given there, the pyrite made up of iron and sulfur. And barnite consists okay. of copper, iron, and sulfur. So, Ayan. May nakatama it's naman. Characteristic. Ayan. It is chemical composition. Composition. Yes. Okay. Tama okay, si so... Beverly. Very good, Beverly. Good job. At saka sa mga iba pang sumagot. Good job Ayan. sa inyong lahat. Nakakompleto po. Nakuha po nila lahat. Yes. Yeah, so those are the different characteristics, ma'am, na ng, ano, ng minerals. They have to be naturally occurring. They should be inorganic. Balik nga po natin sa slides, ma'am, para ma-recall po natin. So they have a specific chemical composition. We have, you should have a crystalline structure as well. So, okay, ma'am, tuloy na po tayo dun sa next. Yeah, homogeneous solid. Ayan. Okay. Ayan, umabal uh, pa si Lilian. You're correct as ayan. well. So, we have here the hard, uh, the hardness as one of the property properties of rocks. Uh, okay. Hardness is the resistance of a mineral to scratching is... It is a property by which minerals may be described relative to a standard scale of 10. Ito yung okay. ano, so, uh, may range sa ma'am na... Ano, Friedrich's Moss. Yes, Friedrich's Moss. So, pinangalan sa kanya, Moss Hardness Scale. From, so, this ano, is... Range from this? 1 as the softest and okay. 10 as the hardest. Okay. So, if we you would recall, that, no? Talc as the softest, ma'am, no? the softest mineral, and yes. diamond being the the hardest. The hardest. What are the other, ano, ma'am, sa ano yung ranking nila, ma'am? So we have so, talc. Two, gypsum, three, calcite, gypsum. four, fluoride, five, apatite, six, orthoclase, seven, quartz, eight, topaz, nine, corundum, and ten, the hardest, as you had said a while ago, it's diamond. Diamond, ayan. So, let us now ano, proceed with this one. Yung kaninang nakita ninyo, uh, senior high school learners, no, yung most hardness scale, that is one of the devices na ginagamit ng ating mga geologists or mga specifically mga petrologists. Pag sinabi natin yung petrologists, they are the ones that study rocks, mga rock samples natin. If you are fond of siguro collecting rocks, tapos sitting na mo sa magnifying glass, di ba, parang may mga kumikinang na structure or parts, so those are the minerals, okay? And this time, we're going to discuss the different rock-forming minerals. And let's start with the common light colored. So in terms of appearance, medyo light ang colors nila, ma'am. No? So what are those? What are these minerals, ma'am? So we have the feldspars. The feldspars? Feldspars are most common mineral in the Earth's crust. Ayan. Um, so... Ito po. Ayan, tandaan. Most common minerals sa ating crust. Uh, we have the potassium feldspar, which is made up of potassium aluminum, silicon, and oxygen. And the pl plagioclase feldspar uh, consists of sodium, aluminum, silicon, oxygen, calcium, and calcium. Next, we All have right. also quartz. Ayan, quartz, yeah. Quartz, um, it is made up of silicon and silicon. oxygen. Okay, but what else, ma'am? The muscovite. We have uh, muscovite. 
consists of the chemical proper or the chemical composition potassium aluminum potassium. silicon oxygen and hydrogen and we have the carbonates calcite dol other other form of carbonates the calcite are known as the calcium dolomite the dolomite ayan familiar tayo sa dolomite ma'am di ba sila yung hinarvest na mga minerals tapos inilagay sa manila bay <laughs> yung dolomite di ba so we also have uh, magnesite so these are forms of carbonates made up of course different kinds of elements like calcium carbon oxygen magnesium Let's yes, us now right. proceed, ma'am, with the next, ano po? The aluminum Ayan. silicates. Aluminum the silicates. The andalusite, silimanite, and kyanite. Okay. So as the name Again, suggests, the they are made up of? Apo. As the name suggests, they are made up of aluminum and silicon silicone elements. The and they are really, uh, they are really, ano po, uh, light lang talaga yung appearance nila. And next, let's have... The dark colored rock forming minerals. Okay, so this so, one is the dark naman. The olivine, which is uh, consists of magnesium, iron, silicon, and oxygen. Oxygen. It is the most abundant mineral in the Earth's mantle. Mantle. So kanina sa crust, the feldspar mam knows the most abundant sa crust. This time for the mantle, ito is olivine. So maka-encounter pa natin yung olivine na yan sa mga next na tutorial sessions natin when we study about the different types of rocks. After yes. olivine, ma'am, what else? The pyroxenes. We have the pyroxenes. Next? The amphiboles. The amphiboles biotype. and the biotype. Ayan. So medyo komplikado lang ang kanila mga uh, chemical composition, no? Pero kayang-kaya yung aralin. Medyo mimiss lang natin no? during the face-to-face -face kasi Sa ating mga senior high school learners, especially sa grade 11, no, sa subject na ito, meron kasi usually sa science lab, may mga nakaprepare tayo ng mga rock at mineral samples. So, ayan. So, kahit na wala, physically siguro, no, na walang mga rock samples or mineral samples tayo sa ating mga tutorial session. So, we will try to provide the real pictures para at least familiar pa rin kayo sa general appearance ng mga minerals na ito. Alright, so we are now... Done discussing the three milks. Ayan. So we are now ready for the quiz. Ayan. So let's make some noise again. Once again sa ating comment section. You can, ano mo, pwedeng humabol ng, uh, ng sagot mamaya. No? So let's start with number one. What makes planet Earth habitable? So lagay nyo lang ha, pag gusto nyo sumagot, item number tapos the letter of the correct answer. Again, item number tapos letter of the correct answer para ma-acknowledge namin ang inyong mga sagot. So question number one again says... Uh, what makes planet Earth habitable? So recall natin, is it A, it has comfortable distance from the sun, B, it has atmosphere that protects from radiation, C, the atmosphere holds carbon dioxide and all other gases. So tandaan natin na mabuti, analyze uh, ang mga choices. Or letter D ba, all are possible answers. Okay, mukhang nakinig. Tamang sagot. Ni Ben C. Josh D. Wong, letter D, all are possible okay. answers. So yung A, B, tsaka C, they are the factors that makes the planet Earth habitable. Question number two. Iba, not following instructions. <laughs> Pakilagay yes. po yung number, item number, ha? Ayan, yeah. number two. What item makes number. human, uh, uh, what makes human and other living organisms capable to live on Earth? Again, what makes human and other living organisms capable to live on Earth? So what is the best answer for this? Take a look at the, the choices. A, Earth can provide food. Food lang bang kailangan? B, Earth can protect the organism from any possible threat. So protection. So food, protection. Letter C, Earth's temperature is mostly hot compared to other planets. So may warmth na binibigay ang planeta. Or it would be, letter D ba, Earth has the right amount of temperature, water, Good atmosphere and favorable climate. Parang obvious na yung sagot, Ma'am Jules, no? Oo nga. And they, uh, oh, nakita and... ko, nasagutan, nasagutan na nila, sir. Ang dami na pong tama. Yes, oo. Oh, oh, they are all correct. Letter D. The correct answer is letter yes, D. Yes, so it's letter D. Lahat ng ingredients na kailangan ng planeta para makapag-sustain siya ng buhay. Yun. Letter D. Number three. What makes planet Earth different from the other planets in the solar system? So Don't na forget tayo, to write ha? the number before your answer. Uh -oh. Very good ang ating mga senior high school learners. Letter A, it supports life. B, it is mostly covered in water. 
C, the atmosphere holds gases. Or D, again, all are possible answers. Pero hindi minsan na trip lang natin sa mga senior high school na senior high school learners natin no. Hindi ibig sabihin na kapag nakalagay uh, all are possible answers or sa mga exam natin nakikita natin, 'di ba? All of the above. Yun na yun, oh. Automatically yun. Parang marami nga oh, oh number three, uh, oh. nasa nasa all of the above ulit sila. Pero, number oh, three, tingnan, all of the above. Is that all of the above or okay, all are possible answers? Sila. Yun, they are all Hi. correct. Kung nakinig talaga, ma'am. Very good. So, the okay. all are possible answers. Let's proceed with question number four. Earth can support the survival of organisms. What is or are the factor or factors that make or makes Earth habitable? So, Roman numeral number one, atmosphere. Roman numeral number two is energy. Number three is temperature. And number four, nutrient. Look at the choices, class. One only, one and two. One, two, and three. Or one, two, three, and four. Yan, hindi sila bumibitaw. Very participative. Including Maricel, Talyod Monasterial, Abigail Sebastian, Laika Lamigo, watching from YouTube. Ayo, hello, Edgar Casimiro. Let's show the answer now, ma'am. The correct answer is letter D. Okay, you are letter right. D, Janet ano? Balobar, you are there, Janet. Uh, Janet. Ayan, mga students mo ata yung iba, ma'am. And yes, finally, po. question yeah, number five. What a uh, question number five says: What subsystem will network with biosphere? O ano yung interact sa biosphere kapag uh, nangyayari ang photosynthesis? So when we say photosynthesis, this is the process wherein plants make their own food. So para makapag photosynthesize ang uh, mga plants, ang mga pinakamamahal natin mga halaman. So, ano yung dapat mag-interact with biosphere? Is it A, atmosphere, B, geosphere, C, hydrosphere, or it will not interact with others? So, it will interact with itself lang. Letter D, biosphere. Sige nga. Medyo mapapaisip kayo sa question number five. Sir, na-reveal ko na. Na-reveal na. Pero may mga nakatama, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> cool. sila. The It's letter A, is... atmosphere. Okay. Bakit atmosphere, Thank Shooter Jules? So, as we discussed while ago, mm -hmm. for photosynthesis to take place, atmosphere, the sun. Okay, the, the sun, process, of course. The sunlight, yan. Yeah, so radiation. So, biosphere, the process of kasi, photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Oh, so, bio, ba, biosphere, you know. So, yung mga plants kasi part siya ng biosphere. So, the biosphere will interact with letter A, atmosphere, para makapag photosynthesize ang mga halaman. Mukhang... Ano, we had a great start, Ma'am uh, Tutor Jules, uh, this week. Mukhang napaka-participative na ang mga... Tama lahat ang mga sagot, sir. Hindi po lahat, pero karamihan mukhang tama sila sa mga items, okay. no? especially sa items 1 to 4. Five lang, pala, five lang pala ito, so yung na-prepare. Yes. Uh, okay lang pala. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And before we end our session for Earth and Life Science this week, we would like to uh, no, share this quotation, ma'am. No? So it says here, this planet is the only home we have. Wala namang iba talaga, di ba? Although we are searching for other planets. Pero syempre, this planet is the one given to us by God. And we have no other choice. Sabi nga sa Bible, di ba? We are the stewards of our planet. Tayo yung tagapangalaga. Tayo yung inatasan sa, ng, ng ating Diyos or ng ating Panginoon para pangalagaan ng ating planeta. And... We have no other choice to produce jewels that we should or we must take care of it. And na emphasize po yan in the ano in the subject, the introduction of philosophy of the human person. Yes, in that, uh, meron din kasi ano don topic na about environmentalism. Ayan. So, yes, yeah, that's another so, as, senior high school subject. As a student, you must know your role and responsibility sa ating planet Earth. All right. So I think we're running out of time, ma'am. Let's flash the over, over time, last sir. slide. Okay. Ayan, these are the references. So once again, you can have the copy of this uh, PowerPoint presentation. This will be uploaded sa ating DepEd Commons. Search nyo lang po sa ating search tab sa internet. Pabalik, ma'am, ng slides. And don't forget, abangan din, din po ninyo ang ating mga kasamahan sa hashtag Team Mahusay for Senior High School Science First Semester. So we have Safety and First Aid, Gen Chem 1, uh, media and Information Literacy and General Biology 1. So abangan niyo po ako. Tatawid po ako sa kabilang stream kasi mag, uh, mag discuss din ako sa General Biology 1. So ayan. So let's have our, uh, let's bid goodbye now to our part, uh, participants, ma'am. So once again, I am Shooter Tony from SDO, Quezon City. 
I'm Chitor Juice from Kaibiga High School STO, Kalaakan. Ayan. So thank you for joining me. Good afternoon and thank you for watching us. So kita kits po tayo ulit next week. Stand by po tayo sa ating next na subject which is the media and information literacy with Shooter Cat and Shooter Zai. So Ma'am Jules, say goodbye na po. Bye. Bye bye po sa lahat. Be safe po. See you next week. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session samang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!